We are going to work a little bit right now on some dimensioning. We've previously drawn this um, multi-view projection of this object right here, and now we need to work on dimensioning it. If you're pretty familiar with dimensioning and you just need to see what it looks like when it's done, this is exactly what it should look like when it's done. If you need to see what it looks like or how to do it, you're going to want to continue watching the video. So let's start with this undimensioned object right here, and we will go through absolutely everything. When I start dimensioning, I generally like to start with a point of origin, which is right in the middle. Remember when you're dimensioning, you want pretty much your dimensions to go in the middle. You don't really want your dimensions on the outside of your objects at all. So I'm going to start down here and just start with some dimension lines, like so. Um, have my arrows going in. And this is four boxes, which is 1.00 inches. And then connect them like so. Now our next feature up happens to be this one. So I am going to follow that on out, like so. Give my dimension arrows. This is 2.50. And I will connect my lines just like that. We have this feature up here, so I'll have my dimension lines come on down, give my arrows, and this is 1.00, and I will connect like so. So that view is pretty well dimensioned. It's got just about every feature. Now we need an overall length. Now the overall length is really simple. Bring it down, bring it down, come up with our dimension arrows, and it is 4.00 inches long, and we are have our lines going across just like that. Um, and finally, we just need a width me measurement, which will come right here, go up, go up, uh, make our arrows, this is 2.25, and connect them like so. Okay, so that is how we dimension this object. Um, so go ahead and stop this video, rewind and replay as many times as you need in order to get the concept.